Looks like Call of Duty just released some patch notes and they nerfed some of the meta weapons and they changed audio. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys the highlights. Uh, this is mostly for Warzone. Uh, stability and performance address an issue experienced by some players that caused items previously unlocked to become unavailable to equip. Uh, weapons and attachments, assault rifles, the Ram 7. Uh, Speedway V5 short barrel attachment is now available to equip in the gunsmith. Uh, equipment, breacher drone, improved impact detection to prevent inflicting more explosive damage to players than intended. I know a lot of people hate the breacher drones and they just spam them. Uh, customization, Crimson Fate and Carbon Fate laser attachment skins will no longer appear as default skins when equipped to shotguns. Players who purchase the GG Easy Weapon Vault Bundle will now be able to use customizations on the Hound Eye Integrated Optic Attachment. Animated emblems are now properly rewarded upon reaching prestige levels 1 through 5. Note, in the coming days, we'll retroactively grant these items to players who meet the requirement prior to today's fix. Uh, the Storm Enders Priceless and Interstellar Reward Emblems will now display the correct emblem art. Now on to Warzone. Gameplay. Um, Battle Royale Strongholds. A Black Sight Key will only be rewarded the first time a Stronghold is completed. Which, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, subsequent captures by other squads will not reward a key. So that means the first time a Stronghold is captured, it will only get one key. If you capture any more than that, no more keys. So I don't really know. Like... If you get the key and then you die, or if somebody dies with the key, then the key's gone forever. I don't know. Uh, resurgence, redeployment. The resurgent redeployment mechanic will now be disabled at the end of Circle 3. Public events. Public events have been disabled in Circles 1 and 2. The chances for a public event to occur in later circles has been adjusted. So I wonder the resurgence redeployment mechanic will now be disabled at the end of Circle 3. Does that mean that you can no longer respawn? Or does that mean something else? I don't know. <laughs> uh, weapons, they nerfed a lot of your favorite weapons, the meta weapons, the overpowered weapons. They nerfed them. So I don't know what's going to be the new meta. I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but we'll have to see in the coming days what people find the new meta is. But assault rifles, the DG-56... The maximum damage reduced to 32, down from 40, so that definitely got nerfed. The FR-556, uh, max damage reduced to 35, down from 43. I never used that gun. I didn't know if it was meta or not. Battle Rifles, the Bass B, max damage reduced to 35, down from 39. Minimum damage reduced to 25, down from 27, so it got a little bit of a nerf. Um... I didn't really use this weapon. Some people use it as a SMG, so I don't really know. Uh, handguns, the Core 45, Akimbo, max damage reduced to 30, down from 45. I never used the Core 45, but I saw a lot of people using Akimbo pistols, and they were definitely OP. Uh, the Renetti, I definitely use this. Akimbo, max damage reduced to 22. Down from 33. That's a big nerf right there. Holy crap. That's a lot. Headshot multiplier reduced to 1.2 down to 1.4. So just a little bit of a nerf on the headshots, but a big nerf on the damage. I don't think these are going to be meta anymore. Uh, marksman rifles, DM56. Never used it. Max damage reduced to 41 down from 50. Minimum damage reduced to 37, down from 39, never used it. KVD Enforcer, never used it. Headshot Multiplier reduced to 1.8, down from 2.2. The MTZ Interceptor, which is definitely broken in meta right now. Uh, headshot Multiplier reduced to 1.5, down from 2. So they reduced the Headshot Multiplier, but it sounds like the regular damage to the body is the same. So... The MTZ Interceptor could still be meta. We'll have to see. The TYR, never used it. Akimbo, max damage reduced to 70, down from 120. So whatever gun that is, that's a big nerf. Holy crap. 
Uh, shotguns, the Haymaker, never used it. Max damage reduced to 36, down from 52. That's another big nerf. Holy crap. Uh, submachine guns, a lot of people found out that the Fennec was strong in meta. But the Fennec 45, max damage reduced to 22, down from 25. Not that big of a nerf. Headshot multiplier reduced to 1.25, down from 1.35. Uh, lower to torso multiplier reduced to one, down from one. So a little bit of a nerf, not not a, not a too crazy nerf. But like I said, they nerfed a lot of the broken guns, which is good. But now that they nerfed them, I'm curious what the new meta is gonna be. So we'll have to see in the coming days. So the audio, they rebalanced first person and enemy footstep audio. I won't read this whole entire thing, but if you want to pause and read it, you can. But basically, they, they just talk about they have to find a balance between multiplayer, zombies, and Warzone. You know, they don't want to make the audio too loud in one game mode and quiet in another. So it's just a big, long speech. But And then for the bug fixes, uh, they fixed collision issues with various elements across Urzikstan, allowing players to exploit, peek, shoot through them. Uh, fixed an issue that allowed players to get stuck inside locked buildings that should otherwise be inaccessible and fix additional issues with incorrect text appearing on challenges. Yeah, so the main thing from these patch notes is nerfing weapons. The, G the DG-56, the Bass B, the Renetti's, stuff like that. So, I like I said, I'm definitely curious to see what becomes the new meta, what gun's broken now, and what people find. Because, you know, everybody finds the meta gun and they all just use the same thing. So yeah, uh, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And let me know down in the comments, what do you think is going to be meta? Uh, were these patch notes a W or an L? But yeah, thanks for watching.